Hey everybody, welcome back to Be A Better Game Master. Today, we're gonna talk about planning and organization. Part two. In my opinion, the most important phase in the planning and organization process is the brainstorm. The brainstorm! Who coined that term? That's, ridi that's a ridiculous term. A brainstorm would be a terrifying thing. Really think about it. No, no, no. Take, take a moment to think about it. A storm in your brain. That's not good. I, I would see a doctor if that happened. But I digress. The brainstorming process is what creates the road to all of the other processes. So without it, you don't really do anything else. It builds the ideas. It builds the inspiration, uh, the creativity that eventually you will mold and shape into more tangible encounters, stories, plot lines, stuff like that. But ironically, even though the brainstorming phase is so important, a lot of people don't do it. Sometimes I don't do it, but I should. And my goal is to start doing it more often. And that's kind of why I made this video. It's for me. Well, well, I guess you can watch it too. You're here already. I guess we'll finish it. I guess. Okay, all right, all right. You, you got me there. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm wearing glasses, and that makes me about 10 times smarter than I actually am. And can you imagine the hole that would tear into the universe if I opened up the complete works of Philip K. Dick simultaneously? It's not the complete works, it's just five novels. I lied to you just then. Let's give it a shot. Ah! Barris, why do you have to be so mean? So I have sort of invented this new process for me to help me brainstorm. Now this isn't like hard, preparation for a game. Ultimately, you're trying to pull the ideas out of your head and put them onto a sheet of paper. And oftentimes for me, that means really spurring the brain and getting it going. So the first thing I want you to do is to go out there, wherever you are into your world, and I want you to get an index card. Now, if you don't have any index cards, it's fine. Just get a sheet of paper uh, that's, you know, small. You can cut it up if you want or tear off a strip. It's just important that you have a small sheet of paper. Maybe some in the, the pretty colors too. Ooh, oops, ow. Now, after you get your index card, I actually want you to get a full sheet of paper too. For this Barker brainstorm, whoa, Barker brainstorm. Mm, write it down. No, don't write it down, not on your sheet of paper. We're gonna write other things on your sheet of paper, but you can write that down, you know, on a different sheet of paper if you want. It's up to you. Barker brainstorm. Now the point of the index card and the sheet of paper is that this is all you get. You don't get an entire notebook to write your ideas down during this brainstorm. You get two pieces of paper of different sizes. Now this limitation is gonna be useful because if you brainstorm as much as you want, you're probably gonna end up with too many ideas. And too many ideas will clog down your campaign. I do it all the time. I I'm trying to fix it, and that's why I'm making this video. So the next thing I want you to do is think about something in your game that you want to learn more about. Maybe it's a faction that you've introduced into the campaign, but you're not entirely sure how they work. Or maybe it's like a region in your world, but it doesn't quite make sense. You haven't really thought about all there is to that region, or maybe that region isn't unique. Maybe it's just sitting in the background and it's identical to all the other regions and you want it to be something special. Or maybe this is a non-player character that you're trying to come up with and give them ticks and uh, unique oddities that make them more fun and engaging than all of your other NPCs. Or maybe you're thinking about a plot line, maybe uh, a group of kids, child refugees that have taken refuge under the ground because of this war that's going on on the surface. And maybe they're collecting all these child refugees from everywhere, all the different races that are fighting each other in an attempt to keep all the children safe. Maybe you like the idea of some sort of external force keeping these kids safe from the outside world. And maybe you wanna turn that into 
your plot line. Maybe, maybe your big plot line for your overall campaign. Or maybe you want to come up with like a new town for your world. Or like a village or settlement or an encampment or a military outpost or a war college or some sort of base of operations for an army. Basically anything. Anything that you want to come up with right on that index card. And I mean, you get one sentence. Maybe one sentence. And that index card is now called your focus. Now here's the hard part. That focus, that's all you're allowed to brainstorm about. That's it. Now if you're anything like me, you probably just had a little conniption. What? No! Just that? <laughs> you're such a joker, Parker. Am I laughing? But seriously, the goal here is not to write about a bunch of different things. It's about to write a bunch of stuff about one thing. And that's where your larger sheet of paper comes in. What I want you to do is to have this paper readily available throughout the day. Whether you're at work, maybe keep it in your bag. Maybe you're at school, keep it in your backpack. If you're at home, keep it on the back of the couch like I do right until 10 minutes before my wife gets home when I put it away and pretend that it has been put away all the time because I'm not messy. I don't make messes. But as you go throughout the day, I want you to always be thinking about that focus. What's written on it? You know, let's stick with the idea of the kids, right? Because that's really inspiring me right now. The, the refugee kids underground. I've already had this idea that there's this huge war going on, you know, on the surface and children from the different races that are fighting each other are being, God, sort of kidnapped to keep them safe from this awful war that's just destroying everything. Boom, there it is. I'm gonna write that down on the sheet of paper. Now the next thing I'm gonna start wondering is, who's kidnapping them? Maybe it's another older child that thinks they know best or what's best for these kids. Maybe it's some sort of grown up that's kind of against the war. I'm gonna be thinking of these ideas all day until I come up with something that I'm like, oh, that's it. That's what I want. But, but the thing is, I'm thinking about it. It could possibly be, oh, I like this idea. It could be a more almost robotic entity. Like, let's say, a monster that's just doing it because that's what it's programmed to do. Yes! Okay, yes, yes, I got it, I got it. Okay, cool. So there's this, like, water maiden, elemental woman who's just for thousands of years been protecting the children in the nearby villages that kind of run along this river. I'm gonna write that down on the sheet of paper. And this whole protecting the kids mentality has become so ingrained in her reptilian brain, her very simple uh, uh, mindset as a monster, that she's begun capturing the kids along this river because she knows they're in danger. Not in danger from drowning, per se. Oh, that's good. Maybe, maybe she was saving the kids from drowning before. Put that on the paper! Like, maybe that was her thing. Like, she used to save kids from drowning. Now the kids are in danger for a completely different reason. The war. So she's capturing the kids and I like the idea that she takes them to some sort of underwater cave. And that goes on the sheet of paper. Now that's a lot of information that I have personally on my sheet of paper. What I might do now is I might look at that sheet of paper and create a new focus. Like for instance, her cave that she's carrying the kids to, I might turn the cave itself into a focus. What about the war? Like who's fighting? Why are they fighting? I'd put that into a focus. And I would do my best to only allow myself to look at one thing at a time. And that's really hard to do because, uh, you know, you might come up with new ideas for new focuses, fo foci? Foci, foci, foci along the way. But here's a little bit of advice. You know how your brain was able to come up with those cool ideas earlier? Yeah. That's because you're creative. Trust me when I say you're gonna be able to come up with ideas that are just as cool as that later on down the road. So if something pops into your brain and you're like, oh no, I gotta do that now, or I gotta put that as a focus, or I gotta talk with a southern accent all of a sudden, I don't know. Try your best to put that out of your mind and get back to the task at hand. Otherwise, <laughs> you're gonna have some sort of crazy brainstorm happening in your head. You see what I did there? See, I actually made a, a brainstorm reference as a terrifying bad thing. I'm saying we should change that. Change the the word brainstorm to bark, bark storm. Oh, ho, ho. now the last step in this process is to staple your index card to the top left corner of your sheet of paper and file it in your binder. 
My binders are usually three ring. This is my Winds of Sursaline binder, for the campaign that I'm running on this channel. And if you look, you can see it's filled with sheet protectors. Every single note, reference sheet, encounter, dialogue, monologue, intro I've ever included in the Winds of Sursaline is in this binder. And you should start keeping this too. Whenever you're done with an encounter or a bark storm, just file it into a sheet protector and put it on your shelf. Your end goal should be for you to be able to put whatever you were bark storming about onto a single index card. If you can put all the information onto a single index card and you're not writing like so tiny, then what you just created is simple enough to be accepted, believed, and remembered by your players while complex enough to be exciting, fun, and unique. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you. Uh, thank you for watching Planning and Organization Part 2. Uh, God, I'm out of breath. Godspeed, double tap peace, and see you down the road. Bark storm, okay? Bark storm. You tell your friends. You tell all your, you, you, you do it. You do it. Please?